Temporary tattoos. I don't know if anyone's used them in resin before, probably have, but I haven't, and I've had a lot of people ask me, can you use them in resin? So I'm about to find out. What I'm going to do is make two different things. Firstly, a sign for a bedroom door for a friend of mine, so hopefully this does work out, whose daughter absolutely loves marble. So I've got a, a selection of marble tattoos. And this is one I'm gonna make for myself, which is a book cover with a tiger on it. I love the eyes in this. Now this one didn't come with any instructions, but I'm sure it works the same as this one where you just wet them, they stick on, and then they're like there semi-permanently. I'm going to fill these with a little bit of resin first, a clear resin, let that cure up, and then put those onto it for these two. But this is going to be an experiment where I put the actual sticker directly onto the silicone mold then fill it with resin to see if that will pick up that in the resin so two different ways of doing it these transfers or tattoos are really cheap to buy and there's quite a large selection i will link them below all i have to do is remove that piece of plastic there pop that down onto there and this hopefully is going to stick on there and then wet this back and then remove it. I think it says wet it for 30 seconds. Well, wet the tattoo thoroughly with a sponge. Well, I haven't got a sponge, so it's gonna have to be a bit of paper. After 20, 30 seconds, gently remove the backing paper. So let's have a look. So I'm gonna wet this quite a bit. It says wet thoroughly. Mm, let's give it a bit of a spray as well. I'm not sure if this one will work out, but we can only see. Right, now I'm going to leave that for 20 seconds and then I'm going to remove the piece of paper and let it dry. Let's see what it says. After 20 or 30 seconds, gently remove the back of paper, allow the tattoo to dry, dab tattoo. Oh, and that's if you want to take it off. So do you think that's 20 or 30? I think it might be. Let's get a bit of... Oh, it's squidging about in there. I think I may have ruined it. Well, it's certainly stuck on there, look. So let's now hope it's going to pick it up in the resin once I pour the resin on that one. Quite impressed with that, to be honest. I'm using the J Diction Quick Cure resin here, and what I'm doing is filling this mold up to about third way up because I want to leave enough room for the backing colour to go on that. Let's hope this works out. I really hope it does. I've already filled up the sign mould, but this mould does tend to trap some bubbles in these little crevices around the edges. So I'm just releasing those using the micro brush while, and then filling up the book cover mould. An awesome thank you to all my members. The membership has grown really well. It's such an active group and we have a real laugh and support each other. If you want to become a member, the link for that is in the description below making sure i've got the resin everywhere in this book cover mold although i do need to put a little bit more resin in than i did because there is a little gap you'll see that later on popping any bubbles and then leaving this to cure up well these have cured enough now for me to be able to put the tattoos on unfortunately i didn't have this quite level and there is a space there but it doesn't matter because this tattoo will still fit on there without that space being there and that will just have a little white bit in it, as you'll see shortly. If I was going to make this for someone, then I would ensure that that was filled in, but I don't want to wait and hang around. I want to get this project finished and done. I've also cut out Alice's room in reverse on my, in mirror on my Cricut, and I'm going to put that in there first as well so that when it comes up that way round it says Alice's room the right way round and then put the tattoos on it around it now this is the one where I poured it first it's still a little bit soft because it's not been 24 hours but that has taken on that tattoo really well and it's nicely covered in resin so you can put them straight onto silicone molds and it still comes out as nice look at that I think that's come out brilliantly I love that I will definitely be using that going forward. Now I'm going to finish that off for Alice as well so she can have that beside the bed if she wants to, to put her glass on. So the first one I'm going to put on is this one. And I've made sure I've got this around the right way so when I've put the backing on, when I put it on the book, I can actually see the picture. And I'm going to bring it right the way down because of that bit there, but normally I wouldn't. I'd have it central, but this is just a test. Give it a quick spray with some water. And it doesn't matter about the resin getting wet at this sort of stage either because it's cured enough. Rubbing over that. I think that's wet enough now. I didn't take the plastic ah! film off it. 
how it's stuck to that. Oh, that was silly. So don't do what I just did, which is forget to take the plastic clear film off the front because you're never going to get it to stick there and now it's stuck onto the film. I'm hoping that if I dry this, it'll stick back onto the paper. Well, because I ruined that other one, I forgot to take this plastic sheet off the front, this bit, and it, the actual tattoo stuck to it. I've gone for this picture instead. Well, this picture fits in there a little bit better, actually, and will sit a little bit more central, so I don't have to worry too much about that missing bit. <laughs> what a numpty. But at least I showed you. So make sure that when you do it, you always take off that little clear plasticky bit, because if not, you're not going to get a good result. So let's put that there. Oh, look, I nearly did it again. Let's take that plastic bit off so it doesn't stick to that. Let's put that there. Let's wet the back properly this time. Leave it for 15 to 20 seconds. We don't need all this additional water around it. Make sure that's fully wet. Oh, it should work this time without the plastic on the front. I will keep that one because I shall use it in something else. Because even though it's attached now to this rather than to what I wanted to be attached to, I can put this into something and it will just lose itself on that plastic. That should be long enough. We should just be able to peel that off now and that would leave that tattoo there. Oh, it has done. Look at that. Yay! There is a few bubbles in it. So I'm going to push that down. Actually, I'm going to dry it and then hopefully those bubbles will disappear. Now they're not disappearing, so what I'm going to do is just pierce it a little bit, those two big bubbles. Put this over the top of it again, like that, and then push them down. Because that way, I'm not going to get this transfer sticking to anything else other than what I want it to stick to. There we go, so that's that done. I'm now going to leave that to dry properly. Carry on with this one. Now, I've put Alice's name on there, as you can see, and now I'm going to put around all the transfers or the tattoos that I want on there. And I will do that exactly the same way, but properly with removing the piece of plastic. Woohoo! Well, these are completely dry now, and actually, once they were dry, they're no longer sticky on the top. So that's a good indication because you don't want any moisture or water in with your resin when you're pouring this final touch on it. I'm going to pour white mica powder for a background on this one and for my one I'm going to pour gold. Again I'm using the Quick Cure 4 Hour Cure resin for this. I've mixed in my mica powder and I'm just pouring that in. And awesome, again, thank you to all the people, look how many got me coffees. The outpouring of love and support last month was just amazing. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Going over with my gold mica powder as well on this. Now, I'm only doing a thin layer of this on the top of this cover. Popping any of the bubbles and leaving it to cure. These are all cured now, and I'm quite excited about these, to be honest. And this is the coaster. Oh, and that has come out really well. And it looks like there's quite a bit of depth with it. It's worked exceptionally well with the tattoo that I stuck directly onto the silicone mould. And it really has given it quite a lot of depth. So let's have a look at Alice's sign. And this will be screwed onto a door or something. And again, that has come out very, very well. Love that. And I think she will be really pleased with that. And the tattoos have really sat in there nicely. Been nicer if I would have got that one a bit straighter, but there we go. And now this is the black and white one, which is going to be the cover for the book. Or for the notepad. Oh, look, look, that's where I didn't put the clear on it first and didn't have it level. But I don't, I actually quite like that. I think it gives it a bit of an effect. Well, that has come out superbly. Sorry about the lights reflecting, but if I don't have the lights, then you can't see what I'm doing. That has come out really well. And these are so easy to put together. You just, I've made the back already. You just get yourself some of the inset and some of these like this and then poke those through and then these little rings they lock into each other so they don't come apart i will put them in the description so that you can get hold of them if you want to make some brilliant i will definitely be using tattoos again in my work i i'm so pleased let me know what you think have you used them in your work if so how have you used them they they're brilliant
I think you could make a lovely wall picture with them as well. Please boot that like button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And it really does help my channel to get out there. If you're new to this channel, then hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to buy me a coffee or you want to get hold of any of the links or any information, then everything is in the description below. Be sure to check out the video that's coming up next. It's on another experiment that I think you'll love. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.